to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. We're going to tell the story of Dr. Know-All, um, which is a grim story, set in 1815. Yeah, there's a poor peasant. And his name is Crab. He's got a wagon with wood in it, and it's being pulled by two oxen. Yep, and they're going to the city because he's going to sell it to the doctor. Because <laughs> he's a poor peasant and he needs some money. So then he, he shows up at the doctor's house while he's eating dinner. He bought, he bought a, a stack of wood for like two sailors. sailors. <laughs> Thaler's is money. Um, and he's eating, like, steak and drinking wine and all chicken legs. He drinks wine, eats steak, and chicken legs. Because that's what you eat when you're a doctor. <laughs> that's when you know you've reached a level of financial security. When you can have steak and chicken legs. And he gets really jealous. Because he, he eats grass. <laughs> <laughs> and or probably seeds like rice corn you think he has some corn in his diet rice corn that sounds pretty good to me and beans throw some chicken in there and you got some chicken burritos that are to die for and so he asks him if he can become a doctor and he said sure <laughs> yeah dude no problem he was like yeah of course you could be a doctor it's not that it's not that tough it doesn't take nothing at all all you got to do is you got to have you got to do three things for me. He had to get an ABC book with a c- on it. <laughs> oh, and it is the year of the rooster. Sells so wagon uh, to get some doctor's <laughs> clothes. <laughs> what do- doctorly things to wear? Probably <laughs> a tarp, like a lab coat <laughs> what is- made out of sheepskin, <laughs> and tools, and uh, and then put put a sign on your yeah. house that says, "I am Doctor Know All." Uh, and then at that point you're you're certified. <laughs> you can pretty much just open up shop and start cutting up people. He was like, you know what? I want to make my wife proud of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a doctor. And he helped people somehow. Apparently, it's that book. You just flip through that book and you find that, and you have solved the the uh, ailment. Ailment. Yeah, and then he's a doctor for a little bit, and then not very long though. Not very long at all. Like, meanwhile, and then dot, 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 dot. And then in a different land, there was a nobleman. Not a castle. Not a castle, but maybe a... a pretty big domicile. So, like, he's in a manor. And he's got money stolen from him. Someone told him about Dr. Noel. He was like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can help you find your money. Uh, there's a dude calling himself Dr. Noel. And uh, the nobleman's like, yeah, dude, I have no other options. I've got to get my money back. And then, so, they go, and they're, like, knock on his door, and they ask him if he's Dr. Noel, and he said yes. (laughs) And he said, okay, let's go. (laughs) Get get in my carriage. (laughs) He's like, yeah, of course I'll go go with you, only if my wife comes. They ride up to the manor. And they get there, they arrive just in time. Just in time for a meal. The nobleman was like, hey, you want to come eat? With me at my manor, this is this is it. You finally get to eat like a like a, a nobleman. You get to eat like the wealthy people do. We're gonna get you some surf and turf, turf and turf, surf and surf, and there's probably a little bit of wine. The doctor, Doctor Know All, is like, yeah, but only if my wife can come. They're gonna get food. So now they're in this house, and he's finally getting what he wanted. He want he's gonna eat like like the wealthy people do. And they sit down, <clears throat> and then there's a servant and that servant. brings food. First servant brings food out. The crowd's like, hey, hey, hey nudge, food. nudge, 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 nudge. That's the first one. And the first one meaning that it's the the first course. He's, like, excited. He's, Dude, we get, we get more than one course of rice and <laughs> seeds. <laughs> He's like telling her, "See, this is this is how it's gonna be." Yeah, I'm doing. I I did this. And then the servant hears it, and the servant gets scared, and he runs over and he tells the other servants that he knows that he's the thief. Like that's the first thief. Yeah, he thought he was calling him out. It's number one. We got him, but he wasn't. He was talking about the first course. They were very reluctant to go back in there because they figured that he he knew. So the second one goes out and reluctantly brings the second course. Puts the 
food down and he nudges his wife again and says, this is the second. Yeah. Second course. Hey, that's number two. And the guy's like, he is onto us. That's right. <laughs> and so it just repeats itself with the third one. Same thing happens. <laughs> he brings the food, says that's a third. He gets scared and goes and tells his friends. But poor third guy doesn't get like any airtime. They're just like, yeah, the third guy goes out. Same. I feel bad for him. I wonder what his story is all about. He's probably happy. He's a thief. He doesn't want airtime. Uh, he's like, when you write this story, you don't put, <laughs> put me in it. I don't want my name mentioned at all. You call me servant number three. <laughs> Third course comes out, gets scared, runs off. Fourth course. And the fourth course comes out, and it's a covered dish. And he's like, puts it in front of him. And he's like, I want you to demonstrate your skills and tell me what's under the under the hood. Okay, he, he realized that he was because yeah. he was going to get caught. He was like, I can't fake my way out of this one. So he was like, well... Oh. Poor crab. And then the old man's like, bye, George. He's done it. Because what was under that was f-ing crab. It was surf. It was surf. <laughs> it was surf and turf. <laughs> the old man was like, holy f-. He's right. The, uh, he has to know where, who has my money. And the fourth servant was like, f-. he knows. And he beckons Dr. Know-all outside. And, uh, the four servants confessed. They just gave up, uh, gave themselves up to him and said, please, please don't tell. I'll give you a bunch of money. I'll give you all the money and, like, more if you don't tell on us. If you don't, because otherwise we'll be ha- hanged. I don't like saying hanged. I don't either. Right? It should be hung. Uh, <laughs> and the doctor's like, you know what? I love money and I want to be able to eat like this all the time. So I'm all for that. And they show him where the money's hidden so he was like yeah it's, i'm cool with that i won't tell on you guys um and then it goes back to eat or whatever and uh nobleman's like i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna look at my book and i'll find your money for you he was pretty confident at this point because he knows where the money's at um and then there's a fifth servant i didn't fight this guy came out of the woodwork snuck into a stove i had no idea that he even existed um but he's sitting in the stove listening in on the conversation. He's the rebel servant. <laughs> Dr. Noah is flipping through the book, the ABCs, looking looking at vaginas and, and ass. Uh, but he can't find the. So, but he's flipping through it and he's like, you know what? I know you're in there. Show yourself. And serve, fifth servant's like, I'm, I'm screwed. So he jumps out of the stove and he's. He, confesses and then the doctor shows the nobleman where the money's hidden the nobleman's like awesome i got my money back and i'm gonna pay you handsomely so this guy got away with a bunch of money now he lives like a king and he eats surf and turf and turf and surf and his wife is like i'm so proud of you for for playing the system Bull- way through everything and getting us a whole bunch of money the uh the wife was took the book later and kept it for herself the end.